Today, I'm going to tell you what the best IDE is for programming this year in 2021. So why would you listen to me? <laughs> Look at how many monitors I have. If that doesn't buy me credibility, I do not know what will. So I know what I'm talking about. Aside from overspending on monitors, I have also tried out many IDEs during my career as a student and a software engineer. So before I tell you what the best IDE is for programming, let me tell you what makes an IDE great for programming. At the end of the day, it's all about how that IDE supports you in your code writing to maximize your productivity and your output. And all that color scheme bullshit programmers use to create themselves a pathetic excuse of an identity and a false sense of belonging in this not so exclusive subculture is useless and has nothing to do with what makes an IDE great. So without further ado, the best IDE for programming is Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word has the most customizable syntax highlighting you can get. With most IDEs, you can only have one color per type of token, but here you can literally put two different colors in a single word. Not only can you change the font color, but you can also highlight it, change the font, or for the 1% of you older folks who watch my videos, thank you, you can also increase the size of your font for a specific piece of code for your vision loss. So no more discrimination in the workplace. It's time to shine, my senior engineers. Oh, not senior engineers, but like, um, like seniors who happen to be engineers. So they're not. You can also hide a piece of code. For example, if you have your API key exposed, you can just unexpose it like so. All right, so let's do a little demo. Let's write some Python code with this bad boy. So you start by creating a new page. I'm just going to print hello world here. You see this auto capitalization? You might think that this is an inconvenience, but it's actually great because it simulates Google's technical interview since they make you use Google Docs to write your code. So you'll get to practice undoing all the annoying autocorrect with this IDE. Okay, so let's save this code. For this IDE, you have to save it as a plain text file and MS doc encoding and check this box. If you don't do that, it won't work. This is a feature, not a bug. It's um, to prevent hackers from saving malicious code when they access your desktop. Let's run this Python code now. I'll start up Windows PowerShell because it is the best since Microsoft is the best and anything they make is the best. Boom, runs like butter. Next, let's write merge sort, shall we? And then customize it to our needs save the file and run the command, boom. If you don't understand merge sort, there's a merge sort video on jomaclass.com in the data structures and algorithms course. We make it really easy to understand with the intuitive animations to visualize the algorithm. Okay, plugging that just made me 150 bucks. I won't go hungry today. Microsoft Word is only $139.99 for purchase and you get to keep it forever. I'm definitely not sponsored by them. But if you click the link below, you get a generous 1% off your purchase. You're welcome for the discount and for the advice. To thank me, you can pay me through PayPal, wire transfer, or you can send me a certified check. In the next video, I let Twitch chat trade $1,000 of my money on the stock market.